cold and the cheese isn't hardly melted down. I wanted to do something lighter today since the past few videos were fairly heavy. A comedy from the 80s that still holds up 40 years later. Mr. Mom, released in 1983. Starring the often underappreciated Michael uh, Keaton. Add a whole new wing on here. I'm gonna rip these walls out and, uh, of course, rewire it. Yeah, you're gonna make it all 220? Yeah, 220, 221, whatever it takes. This gem written by John Hughes explores a story of family dynamics, role reversals, and everyday life of parenting. Jack Butler, an auto engineer living in Detroit, gets unexpectedly laid off. And as Jack looks for another job, his wife Caroline, played by Terry Garr, steps into the workforce to help the family during this difficult time. She earned that promotion, I can assure you, Jack. It was a little promotion, I forgot to tell you about it, it was no big deal. <laughs> the role reversal lands Jack into unfamiliar waters, as the stay-at-home dad tries to navigate the chaos of domestic life with three young kids. His journey is a roller coaster of humorous mishaps and heartfelt moments highlighting the challenges of parenting often unseen in that era. Where's Bobby keep the extra diapers? Hey! Cowards. The film was somewhat ahead of its time, depicting a man taking on a traditional female role. It's a lighthearted take on subjects that are as relevant today as they were in the 1980s. Come on, are you gonna play cards or flap your gums? Flap my gums. It's getting ugly in here. Keaton's performance is a highlight. He brings a natural charisma and comedic timing that makes Jack Butler an endearing and relatable character. Keaton's an actor I think is often underappreciated, and I wish he would get a little more recognition for his acting and career. My brain is like oatmeal. I yelled at Kenny today for coloring outside the lines. Megan and I are starting to watch the same TV shows, and I'm liking them. The rest of the supporting cast adds to the overall humor, which includes Martin Mull, Ann Julian, the two kids in the movie, and Christopher Lloyd in a memorable cameo. Why didn't you tell me this morning I was being canned? Even though John Hughes wrote the movie, Stan Drogoti directed the film, as Hughes preferred to make his movies in Chicago, away from Hollywood. Can you run the uh, hams back one more time? Just, I just want to get Mr. Mom is more than a snapshot of 80s culture. It has a timeless appeal, a heartwarming look at family and societal norms. And Mr. Mom as a complete film proves to be not just for a time, but for all time.